Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super elated to be scrutinizing another video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a swing dance video from me again. Today, I'm going to be talking about who I consider one of the greatest Lindy Hoppers of all time, and his name is Mike Roberts. To me, this Lindy Hopper is one of the most underrated greats of all time. I'm just gonna get out of the way and show you some footage and then give you my thoughts afterward.
Wow, guys. I appreciate this dancer so much for so many different reasons, and I'm going to break them down for you right now. Now, many of you all who are not swing dancers may not know that I have multiple categories for swing dancers, but most of the swing dancers that I like, um, who are really, really good at the technique, fall into two main categories. Now, of course, there's some subcategories and nuanced things that you can highlight and draw a distinction on in terms of musicality and things of that nature, but I like to keep it simple. I like to look at what dancers can do to manipulate the technique with their partner on a very macro scale. So my two categories are more elastic and less elastic. And of course, when it's less elastic, it has a lot of implications with that. A lot of the movements will look really sharp. If it's more elastic, it's a little different. And this, cat this, this dancer, Mike Roberts, he falls into that category of more elastic. And he's probably one of the most extreme uh, dancers with this technique. I love this so much because if, if we were looking at circles and lines, he is a circle. Most of his movements are so elastic, you can see them coming, and he makes them look so beautiful because the movements are very simple. And so there's an elegance uh, to the quality of his movement because he's not rushed. There's no anxiety to show a significant amount of contrast with the technique. So the surprises that you see typically are when he's throwing his body into a movement. He's not a very tall dancer. So when you watch him dance, you don't realize how much he's throwing his entire body into certain movements to create an illusion. And when I watch him dance, if, if you can just imagine looking from bird's eye view, looking down, this dancer has a way of moving around his partner and collecting energy in the most rounded ways. If, if everybody was a ballet dancer and Lindy Hop, you know, focusing on hiding your weight, doing a lot of lines, this dancer for me would be the polar opposite. He would be like a modern dancer. Lots of rounded movements, showing where the weight distribution is going. And for me, there's a couple of dancers in the scene who've danced like this before. I'm not saying he originated this a technique, but for me, he's mastered it in such a way that it eclipses any other dancer who dances with a lot of elasticity for me. Incredible dancing. And so if I were to compare him to like dancers in the past, oh, it's so interesting. Like I think of your, your Gene Kelly's, you know, he's really popular, but he was kind of in the shadow of Fred Astaire. And then you have dancers like Donald O'Connor, who was really in the shadow of Fred and, and Gene. And a lot of the people at the time didn't really pay attention to him. It's just so weird how that works out. But the talent is undeniable when you watch that dancer. And so for me, when I watch a dancer like Mike Roberts, it really has taught me how to manipulate the Lindy Hop technique using circles and extreme elasticity. So, and that's one of the reasons why he is one of the greatest Lindy Hoppers of all time on my list. So what do you guys think about Mike Roberts dancing? Let me know what you guys think about his dancing in the comment section. If you guys aren't Lindy Hopping yet, you should because dancers like Mike make really simple movements look really complicated, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the technique is not as complicated as it looks. You can literally master this dance at home. So check out some of my free courses below to really encourage you to kind of get a good start at learning how to do Lindy Hop. So with that said, again, this is one of my greatest swing dancers of all time. I hope you guys appreciate this video. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my classes online. Take care.